Uh, um Hamza, she says that if a woman, after performing her ghusl, her major ritual purity, after being uh, uh, purified from her menses, so afterwards she discovers that there is a small portion that has a nail polish on it. So is she obliged to perform a ghusl again? If this was close to her actual ghusl, in our madhab, in our school of thought, the Hanbali school of thought, she can do half of the ghusl at a particular time and three, four hours finish the other half. And this is not authentic, though it's in our school of thought, but this is unacceptable. It has to be in a sequence. But if such a little minute thing took place and it was in the vicinity of half an hour or an hour, then yes, you can uh, remove this nail polish and just wash it and inshallah it does the job. Because there are some scholars, and this is not the majority opinion, some scholars said that the little najasa and the little, the very little and minute area that was not touched by water is forgiven. However, personally, I would always recommend my daughters to remove it and to do their ghusl once again. It's always best to be safe rather than to be sorry.